In this video, we're going to cover the process of configuring navigation in the Mimic Designer. Navigation in Status Enterprise behaves very similar to the way you'd navigate through your favorite website. You can link to a Mimic and then open them from another Mimic to view. Let's take a look at how this navigation process works. I'll create a new Mimic by clicking the New File button in the toolbar, then choosing Mimic as the type of document I want to create. Next, I'll give this Mimic the name Navigation Mimic and click OK to finish creating it. Now that we have our Mimic, I'm going to add a navigation button to it so we can go through the process of the parameter setup. All of the navigation controls we currently have are located in the navigation group in the toolbox. I'm only going to be covering the buttons in this video as the list controls require more complex model designs in order to be used so we're going to cover those in another video. Looking through the controls, we've got a wide selection of tools we can use for navigating. We have these gel buttons that we can use if we need to add some fancy UI. These give off the appearance of being a gel-like substance. There's a navigation button, a backwards navigation button, and a button that will close the window you're currently viewing. Then we have the more traditional looking buttons. These buttons are perfect for when you're looking for a nice generic button look. That's not to say that these can't be customized in their look and feel, but they resemble what you'd expect to see as a button more so than the gel buttons do. If I select one of the navigate buttons from the toolbox, then draw it out on my canvas, I can then switch to the Properties tab and see that there's loads of properties you can use to customize how this control looks. There's also a Setup property which will let you configure all of the parameters for your navigation. This brings us to the next part of this video, which is configuring the navigation properties for use. If I click on the button in the Setup property listing, it will open the Configure Navigation Properties dialog. Here, I'll be able to view and edit all of the properties. The first property in the navigation configuration is the navigation style. If I expand this dropdown, there's three options available. Replace, pop-up single border, and pop-up tool window. The replace option will replace the current mimic with the one you've chosen to navigate to. The pop-up single border option will open a new window when you click the navigate button. The pop-up tool window option will also open a new window, but unlike the single border option, the tool window will not give you the options for minimizing or maximizing the window. Instead, you'll only get an option to close the window. The next option is the document to open. This is the mimic you want to see when you click on your button to navigate. If I click the button, it will open the Select Document dialog. Here, you can browse through your model and choose the mimic you want to view. At this point, I'll go ahead and select the mimic I have saved in my model, then click OK to set it as the mimic I want to open. Next, we have the Object to View. This property is used to pass along the asset you want to view when navigating to mimic templates. When navigating to regular mimics, it can be left blank. Since this is used in more complex setups, it's going to be covered in an advanced video, and we'll skip over this for now. The last option in the dialog is the content caching. When set, this will cache all of the content on the page you're loading when the navigation button is clicked. Since we've set up everything we need for this button, I can click OK to apply this and we're ready to move on to the next step. While we're in this mimic, let's make a configuration for each type of navigation style so we can see them in the runtime. The fastest way to do this is to copy the button, then paste it to make more buttons, so I'm going to do this now. I'll also space them out so we can see them better. Then, I'll quickly change the captions for each button. I'll set the first one to say Replace, the second one to say Single Border, and then the third one to say Tool Window. This way, we'll be able to see which one is which easily. For the first button, we already set this up, so we don't need to do anything to it. For the second button, 
We'll use a pop-up single border style navigation, so I'll select it, then click the Setup button to open the dialog again. I'll change the navigation style to pop-up single border, then click OK. The last configuration will be using the pop-up tool window option. I'll select the button, then click on the setup and change the navigation style to pop-up tool window. I'll then click OK to finalize this navigation configuration, and we're now ready to test these in the runtime. Next we're going to save our Mimic, and then run it in our Mimic Runtime client. So I'll click the Save icon, then save this Mimic in my Mimics view. Next, I'll click the Test Run button to launch the runtime. I'll verify my login information, then click Connect and wait for it to log in. Now we have our Mimic with our navigation set up. I'll go ahead and click the first button we created, and you can see that it's replaced the Mimic we were looking at with the new one. For convenience, I've added a back button to this Mimic so we can get back to the Mimic we created our navigation on. I've also got a close button that I've added to this Mimic as well. The close window button allows you to close the current window you're viewing, much like the way you'd close that window by clicking the red X in the top right corner. Neither of these controls require any configuration. You can simply place them in your Mimic and they're ready to be used. In the case of the back button, the button will become invisible if you don't have anywhere to navigate back to. It will also not show if you're using a navigation style that opens in a new window. I'll go ahead and click the back button so we can get back to our Mimic. Next, I'll click the single border button, and you'll see that instead of replacing the Mimic we were viewing, it's created a new window. We can minimize and maximize this window much like any other window you'd use. If you need to get back to your Mimic, simply click the Close button in the top right corner and you'll be back where you started at. Or, click the Close Window button if you've added one to the Mimic you've loaded. Finally, I'll click the third button and as you can see, we've got a new window like the single border option, but we don't have the options to minimize or maximize this window. The only option we have is to close it. We've now covered the process of configuring navigation in the Mimic Designer. In closing, Status Enterprise is a powerful, easy-to-use tool that lets you design once and deploy multiple times. For more information on Status Enterprise and Mimic Designer Navigation, please visit us on the web at www.scada.com.